Yeah, let's get this party started. It's Monday Night Football. Hermitage, Verina. I said it was a defensive slug match. Verina with a sack right there. Quarterback goes down. Brock Schaefer later. Likewise, Hermitage D doing it as well. How about this on a keeper around the right side? That's going nowhere. The front four for Hermitage was fantastic. Nothing was fooling them. The Panther defense stout all evening long. That's going nowhere. Second quarter, still no score. Verina with a football. Bobby Dunn finally gets it done. He connects with his wide receiver. Number nine, good on the first down, Isaiah Reed. But moments later, no, it's not a fumble, but it's also not much of a gain. A couple plays later, Dunn gets outdone. It's intercepted. Number 19, Jaden Simpson with the pick, and we got no score at the half. Third quarter, nothing doing for the Verina offense on the ground either. Hermitage stopping them in their tracks. The one thing they had going was this guy. Nigel James, number three, had himself a night. That run was good for a first down, and it would lead to this field goal, which is up and good. We finally got points, ladies and gentlemen. Three to nothing with only two minutes and 11 seconds to go in the third quarter. Yeah, fast moving game when the defenses are thriving. Bobby Dunn looking, looking, firing, finding. What a pick! Number 15 on the Oski, Jaden Tucker. And he gets it back for the Hermitage offense. But I will say this Verina's defense gave the Blue Devils a chance. They get the stop there, done with another opportunity. But it's fourth down and he fumbles the football, cannot corral the snap. Hermitage Johnny on the spot, they jump on it. And then the Panthers' offensive line slowly would lean on Verina's defense and Nigel James, NJ, would get his. And you know what? It's about due. He was great last year, now he's a senior. He was one of those freshmen that hung around when Patrick Kane retired, and he says, I'm gonna take full advantage. Now he's out to shine. 142 yards rushing for James, including this touchdown run right here. Hermitage up 9-0, and they can smell it now. What a win this would be for the Panther program under Coach Bedwell. 4.22 to go in the fourth, though. We know Verina is not necessarily done. But Bobby Dunn looking, firing, finding off of his legs. Are you kidding me? What a pick. Intercepted by Hermitage. Panthers win their opener. 9-0 is your final. It's hard. The, the, the preparation was hard because we were losing all those days to snow days and we were losing all those days to school being closed. And leading up, you don't know because you don't have scrimmages. You don't have film to watch. So it was just more of going with the basics, trying to be physical and trying to make basic plays. And, you know, we, and we did that tonight.